Hi everybody, Natasha Wilkinson, Independent Sensi Consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. Now, as you can see, we're drawing to the end of the month and the empties bin is full. So it is time for us to go through what I have been wanting, what I have been using for the last part of April. So let's delve into it. As usual, I will start off with our non-wax empties. So I went through both our Scent Soft and our Laundry Liquid in Amazon Rain. Amazon Rain is one of my favourite scents. It is not the strongest of scents but it is a really pretty tropical scent you get coconut milk you get night blooming jasmine there's a fruity note a kind of melony citrus note attached to it as well and the combination just makes this most gorgeous beautiful fresh tropical vibe when using this scent I love to use this scent in our clothes, in our laundry line, and then I usually stick to something a bit more calming and soothing for our towels and beddings like jammy time. So I used up both the Scent Soft and Laundry Liquid, which if you saw my, what I have been warming empties at the beginning of April, you'll have seen I'd already used up the washer whiffs. So now I have completely used up that laundry bundle that I use. The only product I don't use in the laundry bundle is the dry discs. And the only reason I don't use them is because we don't own any dryer. So the next product I used up was from our Christmas collection bundle in our Christmas cleaning collection. And that was a counter clean in perfect peppermint these did come into our clearance section in February so I did pick up a few of them when they were in our clearance section so that's what this particular one's from it's your peppermint scent basically and my nose actually goes a bit funny when I smell this one I actually kind of get a back note of chocolate in this. I don't think there's any chocolate in the scent but that's just my nose going a bit rogue so I get like a peppermint cream or a peppermint patty type smell when I smell perfect peppermint. I also used up a squeeze the day all-purpose concentrate cleaner. Now this will make up, I believe, up to six counter cleans with your all-purpose concentrate, but I actually don't use it for that purpose. I pop it in my mop bucket when I'm mopping the floor and use it as a cleaner to mop the floor. Squeeze the Day is a bright lemon scent with just a touch of sweetness from a vanilla that's added to this. It's kind of like a fresh lemonade scent, if you will. And it is one of the few citrus scents that I actually really enjoy. And if I were to choose out of what's in our regular catalogue, not limited time only, authors like peppermint or your cider milk, if I were to choose what is only available in the limited time only catalogue for a fragrance for our cleaning items such as counter clean, all purpose cleaner, shower cleaner, it would be Squeeze the Day as my go to favourite scent. So, the next item I used up, or my husband finished using up, was a Hit the Town shave soap. This was a special item that came in last Father's Day bundle 
and it was a very manly, cologne type scent. It was silver lavender, juniper berry and smooth sandalwood. So you got that very cologne manly type scent with that. My son's Darth Vader globe burnt out or blue. So we replaced it with a, another red 25 watt globe for his Darth Vader warmer. And I am so glad that we can now get the coloured globe because prior to that, if his globe had blown out, I would have had to replace it with a clear globe because we have only just recently had access to this particular coloured globe. So I hope it's an indication of more coloured globes to come. That would be really exciting. So... I used up my packet of cotton cleanups. And they are the basically non wax empties. So let's start talking about the Life's About Wax Collection because I did. go through four of the five of them. This collection is currently still available on the website. Three of them are used in the open concept area. One I used in the bedroom. So we'll talk about open concept area first from the Life's Garden collection. Apple parsley. So this to me was a very earthy apple scent. A lot of apple scents are a lot more sweeter than this one. It was nice, but it was very earthy. To me, it was more like the apple peels from an apple. You can smell the earthiness from the parsley and then the sweetness from the apple peel. Would I buy it again? I wouldn't put it in Scentsy Club. Possibly. It was probably just too earthy for my liking, but I didn't hate it. I just didn't love it. It was also quite light in its scent. Now, these are just my reviews, so take in mind every nose is different what some people don't like, other people may love. But to me, I got a very earthy apple scent out of this one. Now, Chamomile Daisy, if you remember when Cold Sniff, I put this quite close to the top after thinking it would be down at the bottom in my preferences of the five. After warming it, it went right back down to the bottom. Now, that black tea note came out in it and I get a bitterness when the tea notes come out that I do not like. I got a powdery lemon black tea and what I did was I put this in the kitchen by itself but because I was afraid of that black tea note from the... Happy Collection, the T one that I did not like, I can't think of the name, Taste of Summer, I did not like and I got that same bitter tea note in it. So because I thought I would get that in it, what I did in the lounge room to use up the rest, I mixed it with Happy Birthday, just to try and bring a bit more of a bakery note to it. Happy Birthday is basically a marble cake. Uh, 
rich, creamy, butter frosting marble cake. Very vanilla heavy, very rich with just a touch of chocolate maybe. On its own it is very rich and very sweet but I do have it in my Scentsy Club because I do use it a lot for mixes, particularly when I'm mixing scents I don't particularly enjoy. And to me, this was a more flowery, powdery version of Taste of Summer, like they added some flowers to the Taste of Summer scent. So this went right back from being second in my preferences to being number five out of the five scents. Saying that though, I haven't worn strawberry basil, so my opinion could change again. So, the third one I warmed from Laughs Garden Collection was Pineapple Mint. It was bright, fresh pineapples, and then you had that spearmint smell linger in the background then I went out for I think to put washing on the line or something and when I came back in the spearmint was at the front and the pineapple was lingering at the background I found the pineapple drizzled off a lot quicker than the spearmint didn't love thought it was okay but would not be a repurchaser to me, to me. If I were to warm a pineapple scent, it would be Pina Colada Cha Cha, hands down. So this will not be going in my Scentsy Club. To me, it was like I was drinking pineapple juice with spearmint or mint leaves thrown in. So the fourth out of the fifth one I warmed, as I said, I still haven't warmed strawberry basil. The reason I haven't warmed strawberry basil, when I smell it, I smell mainly plastic. I smell the lip glosses that are slightly scented when I smell that. So I'm wondering if maybe that needs a little bit more curing before I warm it. So, but the fourth one I warmed was lavender violet and this one did make it to my sexy club i loved this one it's not the strongest scent this one did not go in my open concept area it went in the main bedroom there is a truck that just pulled up outside and my dogs are barking i do apologize so this one well, the marshmallow in it gave it a sweetness and the violet also, I think, added to that really sweet floral scent and then you had that relaxing, calming herbal lavender. It was really, really pretty. And in my Scentsy Club, I would definitely buy this again. Obviously, this is in my Scentsy Club. So, with my ranking now, after actually using up the bars of Life's a Garden. My favourite was definitely Lavender Violet. My second favourite was Apple Parsley. Third favourite was Pineapple Mint. And last was Chamomile Daisy. As I said, I still have to fit strawberry basil in amongst these fives. I haven't formed them yet, so I can't tell you where I would slip strawberry basil. But as they sit, that's my preference of the Life's Garden Collection. So, the weather is cooling down here. So, I did then opt for some, I guess you'd say, scents that are more for cooler weather. And what I then 
wand was one I picked up in a D stash. It's not available here in Australia, but the D stash I picked it up from the person that obviously had them brought them from a consultant in Legion Run. So that was pumpkin chai and this was from Region 1's Harvest Collection, I believe, one of their trio pumpkin scents. And I loved this. This was white pumpkin, cinnamon, and a dash of chai, I believe, was the scent description. And it's all that. The few pumpkin scents I have tried, I have really, really enjoyed. So if I were in Region 1 and was asked, am I an apple girl or a pumpkin girl during their fall season, I don't know what I would choose. I love my apple scents, but I am really enjoying the pumpkin scents I have tried. And because I only had one bar of this as it was picked up in a D-stash and my open concept area falls into the kitchen and I have enough warmers where I might need two bars. What I did in some of the smaller alternating warmers was put in a cube of Perk Me Up. As you can see, it's not fully used up. I do have another one coming in my next Sensi Club haul and then I have deleted it because I love coffee scents. And this was kind of the only coffee scent that was available, which was why it made it to my Scentsy Club to begin with. But it is very strong, which is what you want out of coffee. But it also has a strong nutty base to it. So I'm not sure if it would be my favourite coffee scent. I think I'll be hanging out and hoping they bring some more coffee scents later on. This, as I said, I only use three cubes up. I use more as a mix of two. So I've still got over half a bar here and my more of a bar coming. So those two bars will do me sufficiently for my coffee kick and my coffee likes when I want to warm this because it is so strong. It is one... I do need to be in the mood for. If it was less nutty, I'd probably enjoy it more. I do like those latte type coffee scents. But one and a half bars, as I said, will do me through the winter. I don't tend to warm this in summer. So I didn't want to stockpile things that I wasn't going to use. So I made the decision, because my Sensi Club does need downgrading a bit, to cut this out after the processing of my last one so I could get the last bar of this that this would get me through. So, and also in my concept area, throwing bars everywhere, which is currently going now and it is beautiful. This was another one that was originally in my Sensi Club, which has since been cut because they did come into the clearance section and I stuck up enough to last me this winter and possibly next winter. Another scent I would only warm in the winter, and this was from our Harvest Collection. I went through one and a half bars of apple picking. Now, this to me is the scent of autumn. And when I say that, it evokes a picture when you warm this. I get the leaves as they turn golden on the autumn trees, starting to fall and rustle into the woods. There's the last of those apples, the last bunch of apples. They're slightly sweet slightly bitter falling on the floor and you're treading on them and you get the crunch and the mingle of the leaves and the apple together that's what I smell when I smell this autumn woods 
with a crisp touch of the last apples. And it is beautiful. As I said, it's a scent I would, well, I did warm it when we first got it in our harvest collection. It's in our hotter weather. And it is so much more enjoyable in the cooler weather. So I have five and a half left now. I did have seven, but as I said, I went for one and a half. So I have five and a half bars left of this to get me through this winter, but it will probably also even that amount drag into next winter. So it did come out of my Sensi Club for that reason. So that was my open concept area. Now let's talk about the main bedroom. As I said, I warm the Lassa Garden Lavender one in there, but I also popped in there pink cotton. This is a scent that just transforms when you warm it. And it is quite a strong scent. I had it going in my bedroom for about four days, but normally I would use a whole bar in my bedroom with the amount of warm as I had but knowing it's a strong scent and knowing I had added a warmer scent last time I warmed this particular scent instead of doing two and three and three cubes to use up the bar I just did two and two and one so I had five cubes going in the bedroom and then I put some in my daughter's room and some in the bathroom to get rid of the bar. It's clean, it's crisp, and then you have the sweetness come through from those juicy berries. It is gorgeous. And as I said, I find it transforms when warming. So if you smell it in the clamshell and you're like, not for me, I suggest still warm it and give it a go because that's what I thought. I smelled it in the testers and I'm like, ooh, I do not like this. It is not for me. And then when I warmed it, I fell in love. So this is one of those scents that just transforms. So also in the main bedroom, I used up a Pacific Sandalwood. This is in my Scentsy Club. I have two of them come every three months. My eight-year-old also loves this scent. It is warm. It is soft. It is romantic with just a slight touch of perfumey sweetness. It is sandalwood and vanilla and like a cashmere smell. The perfect bedroom scent. And that was basically what I wanted in the main bedroom area. Let's delve into the laundry bathroom area. I used up coral waters. This is very aquatic with that floral touch in the background. It is quite strong. Lasted a few days. Did I love it? No, I didn't love it. I liked it though. To me, I just found it very plain Jane. I found it quite generic. I, if I were to choose a aquatic floral, it would definitely buy high be hibiscus water, even though it's a lot lighter, hands down. So to me, I just find there's a lot of similar scents. So it would not be Scentsy Club worthy for me. It would not be a repurchase. Although we had to get it in a whiff box, I would use it again. So I didn't hate it. I just found it very generic. And I used up the little tester of palm trees and ocean breeze. I gained very aquatic. 
very small. It was in one mini warmer in the bathroom. I am going to warm a full bar during the next month of it just to try and get my head around what I really think of it. Didn't hate it, didn't love it. Still on the fence about what I think of it. I find it aquatic with a bit of a fruity note is kind of all I'm going to get from this tester. As I said, I want to warm a full bar. I want to get a full experience. I want to, before I give my full opinion on it, go through a little bit more with that particular one. And my daughter's room, as I said, we did a bit of pink cotton. And because that lasted so long, what we did when that finished was we used up half of the bar of the mermaid is the girl and I'm surprised at how well this performed. This is in my Sensi Club. It will stay in my Sensi Club for a little bit longer. I'm just not sure how much longer because I did enjoy it. My daughter enjoyed it. It is quite fruity with just the touch of aquatic. Whereas a lot of the other aquatic scents are more aquatic with a touch of fruity, I found this the other way. And just those couple of cubes filled up my daughter's room and drifted out into the hallway. So it threw quite well as well for a Disney scent. So we will probably use the rest of this bar during next month in my daughter's room. But... She is really enjoying it. And as you can see, it's the first bar we've got that comes with those little scent categories on the back. So that was very exciting. And then in my son's room, we broke into his Go Go Mango that he wanted for Easter as my teenage son wanted some mango scent. And it was my first time warming this. And the reason I hadn't warmed it before then was because I had heard this scent was quite soft and you couldn't smell much when warming it. But, again, I got great performance out of this. I wouldn't say it was strong, but for my son's room being the smallest of the rooms in the house, it filled it up beautifully and... Even though it only lasted a day before fizzling out, I don't mind that for my son's room because my son's room has a lovebird and a budgerigar in there where we keep our birds. So I don't want something too overpowering in that room, but I want something that will get rid of that voice smell that is shared by a 14-year-old and a 10-year-old. So this worked quite well for that. Even the window opened, it still filled up the room. It was fruity, it was sweet, it was perfect for his room. And as I said, even though I only got a day out of it, it was beautiful. And I would buy it again for his room, particularly since he enjoys it himself. So that is the wax. Let's delve into my oils. Grab the oils. Didn't go through many oils this time around. This is almost completely used up. I think it's got maybe one use left. Cinnamon cherry vanilla, currently diffusing with apple picking. And I do have a big one of this too because I do enjoy this one. And it's definitely a repurchase for me. You get the sweetness of the cherry and the vanilla with the spice of the cinnamon. It's just the perfect accompaniment, particularly to Christmassy scents. It's sweet and it's spicy at the same time. Yum, yum, yum. And it's perfect this time of year as it, the weather cools down. Pineapple, coconut, lime. I do believe there's only one use less of this two, almost finished this up. And 
that was the, the pineapple and mint scent that I diffused. Very summery, very pineapple-y, and you do get the coconut as well. Very tropical. That was from a discontinued scent, so it is no longer available for purchase. And this is another one from one of our discontinued scents, and that was cardamom and vanilla, and that's what I had going in the bedroom. This is earthy with just a slight touch of the sweetness of the vanilla. The cardamom gives it like a rich earthiness about it. So they were the oils I have been diffusing. As I said, there weren't many oils in amongst this batch. That is what I have been using for the last half of April. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying your April. What are your favourites that you have been warming and using for your house for April? I would love to know if you would like to comment below. So if you are new, thank you for staying and watching me ramble about what I use in my household. If you're returning, thank you for watching. If you'd like or subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you're looking for a consultant in Australia or just have some questions in general, I will leave my contact details below. But until then, stay safe and bye for now.